The mailing envelope section of the photo booth operator is where you can automatically generate envelope addresses for printing out on standard envelopes. When you first click on the mailing envelopes, you're presented with the option of what information you would like to use to generate your envelopes. And you can either use the addresses that are in one of your mailing lists, or you can use one of the predefined ones, such as clients, venues, operators, or partners. We're going to go ahead and uh, send out to our clients. And then, like other areas of the photo booth operator, you have a chance to refine and drill down further within the list. Uh, obviously, your fields are going to be limited to the applicable area. So, for instance, on our clients, we do not have the wedding date and age, just as we wouldn't on our operators. But that might be in your mailing list. So, if you had the mailing list, you'd have that option available. So, in this case, maybe we'd like to only send out to clients in a certain zip code. That zip code equals 34952, as an example. We can add other conditions, as need be. If we add another condition, then we must decide whether that's an AND or an OR condition. AND conditions, in order to be met, both must be true. So, the zip code must equal this AND whatever our field is, whatever our condition is, and whatever our value is. If it is an OR, then it will be populated if either one of the two is correct. So if the zip code equals 34992, or if some field and some condition equal some value. Uh, we can remove the conditions if we don't want these. What we're going to do is leave these blank so that we don't have any conditions. We get a nice little preview of what our envelope is going to look like down here. This is recipient line, recipient address, city, state, and zip. And we do have the option to include from information. If we click yes, then the photo booth operator will populate that information. And you'll see now that our logo and address is here. We can change that to just the company's name instead of the logo. And you see that the company name instead of the logo is now displayed. Once you've got everything set, go ahead and click the next step. The photo booth operator then gives you a report of what it has found. There were 140 different uh, clients to choose from, and 136 had full addresses. All of those addresses will now be listed here, and they'll all have a check mark by them, except the ones that do not have a complete address. So in this case, uh, Jennifer McConnell does not have an address or a city, does have a state, but doesn't have a zip and it is not selected. You do have your select all and select all none options available to you, but when you generate the envelopes, only those that are checkmarked will have actual envelopes generated for them. This gives you a chance to whittle down even further. Say, for instance, you just want one. You want to send one envelope to Jeff Simfer here. You could just select none, select Jeff Simfer, and then when you generate the envelopes, only that envelope will be generated. After you click Generate Envelopes, the photo booth operator says one label has been printed because we only had one check mark. You click View Print Labels, and a PDF will be generated, which you can then print manually feeding the envelopes into your printer. Or if you have a printer that has an envelope feed, feed you could do it automatically. We can also change the criteria if for some reason we did not get the printout that we wanted exactly. And clicking the change criteria returns us to the previous screen. And then we can make our adjustments there and click generate envelopes to create the new PDF.